Hey guys, my name is Anthony and in today's video I'm going to be talking over the Singapore Grand Prix which happened last week in WOR so if you want to see more league racing highlight content similar to this make sure to hit the like button and stick around by subscribing to the channel if you're new because I'm going to be making a lot more content like this this year so coming into this race we had a couple of weeks off uh, there was no serious racing due to the Christmas break however I did do a couple of social races I did one on my birthday which I streamed on YouTube which was the last stream I believe I'm doing on YouTube for quite a while and then I recorded another one however not much happened to be honest that I really wanted to showcase to you guys or something that you could really learn from from that one so I'm not really going to make a video on that but moving into this one as you can see we didn't do a qualifying lap because it started raining, raining straight away and we just accidentally went out on the softs and we couldn't get around on the mediums in time so we just ended up retiring and we're starting at the back of the pack so we're doing the hard to medium strategy as you can see there so we've got three lights four lights five lights and away we go and at this point i just wanted to try and get as far up the field as quickly as i can because i didn't really know what to expect from this one as we dive down the inside and we got a little bit too deep and we end up losing a position because of that but as i was saying before this was the very first time that i was racing at this track so i didn't really know what sort of pace i needed to have in order to really do well here and this is a theme that happens a lot this season and you will hear me say this a lot because I'm racing a lot of these guys for the very first time and I'm racing at a lot of these tracks for the very first time so I'm not really sure as to what sort of pace these guys are going to have around certain tracks. I do know that WR is quite competitive and even in tier 3 there are some pretty quick drivers in here so it really is about just finding out what pace they have during the race and being able to adapt to what sort of pace that these guys are going to have but as you can see now we're back in 14th place i think we got a position because one of the alpha tories ended up crashing into the wall or something i'm not exactly sure what happened but we managed to gain the position back now so we just want to try and keep up with the guys ahead and just keep up with this train because there is going to eventually be a train that always is in these type of races because that's just how league racing is because the the field is so close in terms of the skill level you're always going to be in these sort of trains so if you lose drs to the person ahead then it's really going to cost you quite heavily in these sort of races as the alpha tory finally decides to just retire which ends up triggering a virtual safety car at this point so moving on to lap three now and you can see that i believe the other williams of uh, gc ended up getting up ahead and we've now got the other williams of t-pi ahead of us because he ended up getting damaged well i'm assuming he had damage because he was going way too slow at this point and as you can see me and mercedes ahead of vrt tom were losing a lot of time to the guys ahead so i'm assuming he has some sort of wing damage and that's why uh, he was going as slow but as you can see as we come up to turn three now we just lose the rear end and yeah that corner it catches you out if you're not careful especially if you're not using traction control it really does catch you out but by the time that we get to the end of the lap you can see t-pi goes in and we've already made up quite a big chunk of the time that we lost to vrt tom so i'm assuming it is because of the wing damage that t-pi had as we come through this corner a little bit more cautiously now but as i was saying that corner can really catch you out if you're not careful if you just apply just a little bit too much throttle coming out of that corner you will spin and you will most likely hit the wall it was very lucky of us that we actually didn't hit the wall causing us wing damage or even losing a wheel and having to retire on the spot but now we just want to get up to VRT Tom and potentially try and get past him and try and catch up the guys who are ahead of him because we lost so much time at that point that we just couldn't really do anything else other than try that. But as we move all the way to lap 15 now because not much happened, a safety car comes out and at this point I was thinking are we screwed here because usually the pit point is around about lap 17 on these hard tires and i didn't really know whether the mediums would actually last but then i remembered uh, thanks to some of the guys in the chat that it is a safety car so if we pit in for the mediums now by the time the safety car actually goes out then obviously <laughs> it's going to be around about lap 17 so at this point we'll be able to really make those tires last and as we come out of the pits now we are in fourth place so thanks to that safety car coming out when it did we ended up gaining 10 overall 10 positions 
from being on the hard to medium strategy. So as we finish the safety car now, we're about to do the restart on lap 17. We've got VRT Tom ahead of us, and then we've got the Red Bull of Dark Killer ahead of him. And I'm not sure who's leading the pack right now. I think it's it's not Presto because Presto's behind me. I'm not sure who's leading the pack, but we managed to get a pretty decent um restart actually off the safety car which for me is very rare i never get good restarts off of the safety car whether it's the virtual safety car or whether it's a full course safety car i never get good restarts so whenever i get a good restart it really feels good to be able to say that so yeah at this point you can see now that brt tom is trying to gain the position on dark killer he goes down the inside and they have a little bit contact which actually allows me to go ahead of those two guys so we gained two positions and we're now in p2 of this race and at this point now i see that it's actually lg in the house who's ahead of me i see he's actually on the hard tires and i'm on the medium tires and i really want to try and get past him as soon as possible because as you can see now at this point we've got six seconds worth of time penalties and that's just because of silly mistakes that happen throughout the race and as we move on to the next lap now you can see that the mediums are very quick at this point so I decided to try and make the move on LG and we've come up to this right hander hairpin here. He makes a mistake. So we go on the outside and this ends up happening. And at the time I thought that if I didn't continue to straighten up the car, that I was actually going to hit the wall. But as you guys clearly see there, we wasn't going to hit the wall. It was pretty much just a mistake on my part. So I do apologize to LG and I did apologize to him after the race as well. Even though I thought that, you know, I was still in the right at the time, I still apologize because I didn't know whether or not I was actually going to hit the wall. But as you can see, looking back at the footage, I wasn't going to hit the wall. So again, you know, it's just a silly mistake on my part and it caused uh, LG to, uh, I think, eventually retire. I'm not sure if he eventually retired or not, but we ended up getting another warning because at that point I was just fixated on that situation and that's something that you guys really need to be careful of when doing these sort of races i hope you don't do what i tend to do which is when you make a mistake you sort of fixate on it because it ends up just causing you to make even more mistakes going forward so that's one thing to really take from this episode of my league racing season if you're going to take anything away if something happens during the race just try and forget about it as quickly as possible but moving on to lap 22 we ended up getting a safety car and you're about to see another just big mistake and again it's just because i was thinking too much about what happened before i actually thought that the delta for the safety car had disappeared and by the time i had noticed it was already way too late and now we have a drive-through penalty with only a few laps to go. We have to do this safety car because under a safety car you can't actually serve a drive-through penalty. So I have to wait until the safety car is done and then go and do the drive-through. So as we come up to lap 25 now, the safety car is going in and what I have to do is I have to do another lap and then go in for a drive-through. So I'm going to lose so much time, especially because we've just come off a safety car, which means at this point, all 12 cars that are left in this race are going to be packed together. So the amount of time that we're going to lose from this drive through is ridiculous. So we're going to have to try our best to get to the pit lane again as quickly as we can go through the drive through and then try and make up as many positions as we can. Because I mean, at one point we were trying to make the overtake for the lead of this race. And now we've got a drive through penalty in third place with only five laps to go. So at this point now, I knew that a podium or the race win was pretty much done for. I was not going to get a podium, which was very heartbreaking at this point. But, you know, get through the drive through just try and do as much as I can just try and make up as many positions as I can and we'll see what happens because you never know what's going to happen around Singapore but as you can see the Mercedes behind us actually VRT Tom's teammate ended up retiring I think he had an incident with somebody luckily that didn't cause anything no safety car or anything like that so we continue going on through this lap just trying to get through the track as quickly as we can we're losing a little bit of time to VRT Tom he was pretty quick at this point and again i was just thinking way too much about what happened before but you can see there's another yellow flag going on as there was an incident behind us and another safety car came out um as i said before you can't serve a drive-through penalty during a safety car so my drive-through actually reset and i had to wait until lap 29 to come in and do my drive-through and at this point i would have lost way too much time and by the time we come through at the end of the race 
we pretty much finished in P11 being the only person to finish the race and not score points. So I was very annoyed about that, but there was not much I could have done. It was just a stupid mistake because I was fixated on something that had happened during the race prior. And again, I just want to hope that you guys take that from this as a lesson. If something happens during your league race, just don't fixate on it. Because if you fixate on it, you're going to make more and more stupid mistakes and you're just going to end up ruining your overall race. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it, make sure to hit the like button. And as I said, if you're new to the channel and you're still watching at this point, you might as well hit the big red subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.